welcome to a new video guys i hope that you're all doing well this video is a bit of a day in my life vlog and since it was the end of the month i wanted to share with you guys some of my tips on how i recenter for a new month as well i feel like i just love any chance to dedicate some time to reflect and reset i really like being intentional with my time and staying clear with my purpose and my goals it just helps me feel more aligned in my day-to-day -day life i feel like lately life has been feeling kind of monotonous and i've just been pulled into my routine so much that things have started to feel kind of boring i feel like i'm so often longing for change my mornings before work have been looking like this pretty much every day lately for the past few months and i'm starting to feel like it's time for something new I feel like I, I struggle with routine in this way, just like relying on it so heavily, but also getting tired of it so quickly. So who knows, maybe I'll start going to a new cafe in the morning. Maybe I'll start going for a walk instead of going to the gym. I don't know, something needs to change. Changing just little things in your life often makes things just feel nice and refreshed often. Otherwise life just feels so same old, same old to me. Okay, first of all, it's pitch black outside. <laughs> It's 10 past 6, but the sun has been rising so late lately. The sun rises at like 6.40. Anyway, um, good morning, guys. I'm going to the gym this morning. Um, I'm going. I'm off to the gym this morning before work. Um, this has been like my, my routine lately, and it's been feeling really good. I woke up feeling so anxious this morning, just like... I don't even know what it is. Like, it's actually just a sick joke when you wake up feeling anxious. Like, why would my body do this to me? But... That's like half the reason I go to the gym in the morning, I swear, because I often do feel, wake up feeling a bit anxious, and I don't know why. Ah, uh, anyway, let's go to the gym. Where are my car keys? Here they are. I'm so scattered. I'm not even scattered. I'm, I feel like I'm not even scattered. I'm just like coming across to the camera scattered because it's not a normal time in the morning to be talking. We don't talk in the morning. That's not what we do. Let's play music. I knew how it would feel to be free and agree that every man should be free with me and work with me to you. I'm back. I feel so much better now. So much better. I've exercised, I'm ready for work, had a shower, got ready. Um, it's time to car on. Now I'm gonna go get a tea, a chai, a coffee, matcha, a drink, and sit down at a cafe. I go to this cafe every morning. It's so nice. I love it when you go to a cafe often enough and then the people start to know your name and they're like, morning Cameron. And I'm like, morning. Um, so I'm going to go there and get a drink and sit down, do some writing and then go to work. 8.30 to 5.30 work. And then it's the evening. It's crazy how work just takes such a chunk of the day. Crazy. So crazy. Anyway, um, let's listen to the music and go and get a drink. I feel like the, the song that I listen to from my drive from the gym to the cafe is like very important. It sets the tone for the morning, you know? Uh.
kind of want to go to the beach and go for a swim. Should I? Should I? Should I? I was so so happy this afternoon it felt like I was coming out the other end of a few days which just felt kind of heavy and draining it is honestly the most heartwarming feeling when you start to feel like yourself again after feeling off it's such a warm feeling a light feeling a comforting feeling this afternoon at the beach felt like a warm send-off to my current chapter of life a see you later to summer and an I love life right here right now kind of moment and in the next few weeks it's gonna be time to welcome the shift in seasons say hello to cooler darker months and let go of moments that were I feel like I have a lot of letting go to do and I also feel like it's kind of perfect timing with a seasonal shift it just feels like the perfect time to sort of let go of things and I don't know when the seasons change I feel like we do change as well in some way hello guys hello <sighs> Welcome to the evening. I'm so tired, honestly. Um, the swim I went for was so nice. It was literally like so stunning. I feel like I'm so grateful at the moment for like being able to see the sunset after work because the clocks are changing in a couple of days and soon it's gonna be dark in the evening. It felt like the final goodbye to like my afternoons after work being able to go for a swim until next year. Since it is the end of the month and April is just around the corner, I thought I'd share with you guys like how I reset for a new month and how I kind of like reflect on the month. I feel like this is a really um, like important part of my life that I do. I don't always do it on the end of the month, like exactly on the threshold of a new month same with like new year goals i'll be like planning my new year in february basically i'm just saying that it's fine to like not have to do things like exactly on the on the day you know sometimes i might feel like shit and i need, might need to give myself a few days before actually like sitting down and reflecting because sometimes i just don't have the mental capacity but yes let's plan the new month i'm just loving this tea i've got like a pomegranate hibiscus tea you know when tea tastes so good you kind of just want like drink it like water Yum. So I will always either journal or something I've been doing more lately is voice noting on my phone. So just like journaling but speaking instead of writing. My reflection last month was literally just me laying in bed, looking at my camera roll and talking to my phone, being like, oh my god, true, we did that. Like, just like, I feel like it's easy to forget sometimes about like what you actually did in the month. And then I look back and I'm like, true, we did that. Like, that was a good time. Or like, oh yeah, you were feeling sad then. Or like, you were feeling really happy then. Or just like remembering how you felt in certain moments and like learning lessons from those moments i suppose i'll play some of the voice recording for you when i was reflecting last month 2023 has been a lot already now that i really fucking think about it i've been really good with my like gym before work thing happening got my film back from camping I had a breakdown because my printer wasn't working Oh my god, hilarious. If I'm journaling, sometimes I will use prompts or sometimes I'll just journal and like write what's on my mind and just think about the month, reflect, think about how I was feeling. But if if you wanted some prompts, some prompts that you could use would be things like, like were there certain goals that you wanted to achieve that month? Did you achieve them? Also with setting goals for the month, I would always say make sure they are actually like achievable and that just that you're not putting too much pressure on yourself because I feel like it's I've done this before just like setting too many goals it's kind of like setting yourself up for disappointment by overloading and set yourself up for the best chance possible basically so don't overload things that you want to do you know um it's like you, you can do anything not everything so just make sure that you take your time and set realistic goals and don't set too many goals things that you're not going to actually be able to achieve were there any moments where you could have given yourself more compassion or more grace throughout the month what lessons did you learn throughout the month? What did you enjoy about the month? Are there any, like, is there anything that you really enjoyed throughout the month that you want to continue into next month? Is there anything that you felt like the month lacked or something that you felt like there wasn't enough of or just something that you want to bring into the next month? Um, are there any habits or routines that you want to develop this month? Um, is there anything that you need to let go of and release this month? This is a big one for me this month. I feel like there's a lot that I'm kind of like holding on to that I need to just like let go of and fully step into the next chapter of my life without baggage and without feeling tied to certain things and yeah I just want to work on releasing and letting go of a lot of stuff this month there's 
limitless amounts of things that we can become attached to as humans and feel like it's hard to let go of but I feel like sometimes you really have to let go of things in order to fully step into a new chapter and in order to fully like give your next season of life like all you've got you sometimes have to let go of the dead weight so yeah that's a big one for me this month let go detach and step into the new month April with wide arms and welcoming possibility leaning further into discomfort and fear not being afraid to do things another thing that I've done in the past I think I did this in like January is I sort of like wrote a letter to my future self at the end of the month it was very unintentional like I wasn't sitting there going I want to write a letter to myself I was just journaling and then I ended up writing about like things that I'm looking forward to how I'm feeling in the moment how I want to feel in a month's time and yeah it did sort of become like a letter to myself that I did read back on at the end of February and it made me feel really like heart warmed and like just a letter to yourself in a month saying like how do you want to feel in a month's time what do you want to be doing like what are we looking forward to what's what are some outcomes you think are going to come over the next month um, I just feel like you can gain so much insight into yourself when you take a moment and to pause and reflect and then reflect again like it's ongoing it's always ongoing so it's like I'm reflecting now on this month and setting up my goals for next month and trying to set intentions for how I want to feel at the end of next month what I want to achieve what I want to do what I want to experience and of course it's like we can't control our path and control exactly how we're going to feel and what we're going to do etc but it's nice to have a vision and to have some sort of clarity around what we want um, because that just helps momentum in everyday life to have a goal and to have clarity around it and to know what you're working towards just makes everyday life so much easier and just like I don't know whenever I my goals feel clouded my everyday life feels hazy and I'm just it's that lack of like purpose and that lack of like what am I working towards I think it's really important to have a sense of that and sometimes that sense of purpose and that sense of direction gets lost and we have to like refine it I feel like it's just such an ongoing journey that I'm like really experiencing at the moment just like feeling like you found yourself and then something else happens and you're like shit let me just like get another grip on myself because I've lost it and then you it's just like this constant cycle of like finding yourself losing yourself finding yourself losing yourself but like every time you refine yourself is with like a greater depth and like you have more of an understanding but yeah that's like a little insight into how I like to set my goals for the month but yeah I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video this little day in my life monthly reset and yeah, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye, guys. Mm -hmm.